Let's look at solving quadratic inequalities. For example, let's solve the following inequality. Now when we solve quadratic inequalities, we start in the same way as we do when we solve quadratic equations, namely bringing everything to one side and getting zero on the other. So this gives us x squared minus 4x minus 5 is greater than 0. And now we can factor the left-hand side. It factors into x minus 5 times x plus 1 is greater than 0. Now when solving these types of inequalities, there's a few different approaches. The first approach is what we call a sign analysis. Now remember, if we have a product, a times b greater than zero, what does that mean? That means that either a and b are both positive or a and b are both negative. In other words, a is greater than zero and b is greater than zero, or a is less than zero and b is less than zero. So let's apply that here. We have a product of factors greater than zero, which means that the first factor, x minus 5, is greater than zero, and the second factor, x plus 1, is greater than zero, or the first factor is less than zero, and the second factor is less than zero, which means that x is greater than five and x is greater than negative one, or x is less than five and x is less than negative one. Now we can consolidate this into just x is greater than 5, can't we? Because if you think of the number line, let's say this is negative 1 and this is 5. If x is larger than 5, certainly it's larger than negative 1. And similarly, you can condense this to x is less than negative 1. Because if x is less than negative 1, certainly x is less than 5. So combining these on one number line, we get x is less than negative 1 or x is greater than 5. And notice here that we have open circles at these values because our original inequality up here was a strict inequality. Now we're asked to put our answer in interval notation. Therefore, our answer is negative infinity up to negative 1, open parenthesis because we do not want to include negative 1, union, again, open parenthesis because we do not want to include 5, up to infinity. All right, what about the other approach? The second approach is what we call a graphical approach. So we still start with the same inequality. 
And we begin in the same way by bringing this 5 over. So we have x squared minus 4x minus 5 is greater than 0. But now let y equal this left-hand side, this x squared minus 4x minus 5. So to solve this, we need to find x values that make y greater than 0, which we can do by thinking of the graph of y. The graph of y is a parabola, isn't it? And because the leading coefficient here, namely 1, is greater than 0, we have the parabola opening upward, and we found this vertex here by using the formula that x is equal to negative b divided by 2a, which in this case is negative negative 4 divided by 2 times 1 or 2. And then we can find the y-coordinate of the vertex by plugging that value 2 into the equation. So we'd get y is equal to 2 squared minus 4 times 2 minus 5. And 2 squared is 4, and 4 times 2 is 8. So we have 4 minus 8 minus 5, which is equal to negative 9, which is how we get this vertex here. Now remember, we want to find the x values that make y greater than 0. y will be greater than 0 above the x-axis here on these green pieces. So what we need to do is to determine what x values will land us on those green pieces, which means we need to find these x-intercepts here. And we can do that by factoring. What does this factor into? It factors into x minus 5 times x plus 1. And the x-intercepts are the values where this is equal to 0. And these values are x equals 5 and negative 1, which means this here is x equal to negative 1, and this is x equal to 5. Now we know y is equal to 0 at those values, but we're only interested in the x values that make y strictly greater than 0. Therefore, we need to exclude those values in our answer. So we'll put open circles here on the graph. So as long as x is greater than 5 or less than negative 1, we'll land on these green pieces of the parabola. Therefore, our answer is the same as it was in the first approach, namely, negative infinity up to negative 1, union 5 to infinity. And these are two different approaches to solving quadratic inequalities. Thank you, and we'll see you next time.